Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and another Tuesday a Tiny Tidy. Today we're going to be back at my storage closet on the main level, but it's a little different because we're gonna tidy it up to Cooperize it. So if you're new to my channel, we ended up getting a sweet golden retriever puppy and we need a space to store uh, dog food, dog toys, and other things that he'll need and I thought the storage closet on the main level next to the half bath would be the ideal location for his things. This Tuesday video is an ongoing collaboration that I have with some great friends of mine here at, on YouTube. Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home is the host and creator of this Tuesday A Tiny Tidy and I am collaborating with her and a bunch of other amazing ladies here. Melinda from Melinda Plain and Simple, Amanda Jane from Mind Your Matters, um, D from D's Lovely Life, and Noelle from Noelle Winters, and so many other ladies who come back week to week to share inspiration and provide motivation for us all to tackle a tiny space in our home. So let's jump into it. Let's go and see what the closet is looking like. I know I've done it in the past and sadly it is a mess once again. Um, sometimes we just don't find a way to organize our spaces until we're finished decluttering. So I'll probably do a sweep through and declutter it as well. I also want to mention that during the month of May, I am hosting the Mega May Decluttering Challenge, and I am doing that alongside with Melinda and Amanda Jane, and we are attempting to declutter 50 items or more every day for the entire month of May. So it's been challenging so far, but I am happy with the progress, and like I've mentioned, progress is progress no matter how big or how small. Let's jump into this closet. Let's take the things out and make it work for our new sweet little puppy, Cooper. Okay, so this is what the closet is looking like right now. Uh, the paper towel storage up top works perfectly. Then we have a few baskets and things here on these shelves, which probably can be rearranged. I have some tools that need to go downstairs. Um, and then we have some like Play-Doh, which I'm sure Maddie and I could go through right now and see what we can declutter and then we have a bag of dog food and then behind that reusable ikea bag is a basket of toys and this bit basket right here is a basket of reusable bags we have so many of them but we're going to take everything out we're going to organize it a little bit better to make it work for this little guy who seemed to just wake up from his nap hi cooper so because Cooper just woke up from his nap, I have to take a pause on taking everything out, take him outside and uh, drink my coffee. Because again, this is what I do. I drink coffee, I work on spaces, I declutter and it's real life. It's we have to take breaks. We have to take care of our children or our pets and we just have to go with the flow and be happy with the progress we're making. But here we go. Let's head outside, take Cooper out, and then we'll jump right back into this closet.
Okay, so I got quite a bit of the closet emptied and just in the hallway, but I didn't finish emptying it and I'm probably not going to touch the paper towel because I do know we keep it up there, but um, I still want to get that shelf and see what's in the bin and the boxes next to it. Okay, so this is what the closet is looking like right now. Floor is emptied somewhat. Uh, one, two, three shelves are completely emptied. Okay, so I emptied the closet. Now, working in a small space, everything is just on the floor. Everything is on the floor, kind of making its way to our bedroom and on top of Cooper's crate. He sleeps in the hallway with us so he can see us. And this is what the closet is looking like. We have some empty shelves. I'm gonna wipe them down now and then go through and see what items that was in it we can declutter. Okay, I know that I wanna keep this box. It has batteries. I just store, there's no real organization to it, but everyone knows that this bat box has any type of batteries we need, whether it be AA, AAA, rechargeable, etc. They're all in this box and they stay in this closet and it's been working so far, so we're gonna keep that. These are cleaning cloths that I like to keep in there as well. I'm just using old photo boxes that I already had from Michaels and they've been working. I've had this and I have it labeled clean pads. <laughs> um, I It's been working for years now, so we're gonna keep it. This one here is gonna go in the closet and this white one has 3M command hooks. So I know to check here if I need a command hook and then I will buy a bunch and just stock them for the future, for future use. Um, I'm gonna keep them on that shelf right there. I also have these cleaning products. Some are for the car. Um, we have like their chemicals and I want them up high. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring the spray paint downstairs and I have two samples of paint that I wanted to paint the bathroom cabinet. So I'm gonna bring those downstairs to the basement. Um, that's where I like to store all of my painting and painting supplies and tools. So I have my um, electric drill and screwdriver and hammer. They have to go downstairs as well and they won't be stored in this closet. This closet here is gonna be mainly for Cooper things, cleaning things, uh, paper towel, and like extra batteries and command hooks, those sorts of things, and our reusable bags. Um, it's gone through uh, many a changes over the last few years since we've been here and the different seasons of life that we've gone through because now the kids are no longer little and we don't store or keep as many like coloring crafting materials in there. So actually Maddie and I are gonna go through her crafting things after I get the majority of the things back into this closet. I also like to store my little sewing kit. This is just what I put together of all my sewing things. Um, I'm not a big sewer anymore. I used to sew a lot of customs for Maddie, but I've stopped, but I like to keep a little kit on hand for any of those, you know, like hems or buttons that need to be replaced. Anything that I need to fix, I know where to find it. So I moved into the dining room just so I wasn't like cramped in the hallway on the floor looking through these bins. I brought all the bins that were in the closet to the dining room table and I'm gonna go through each one of them and see what's in it and if it's something that we actually use and need to keep in that space or if we need to store it somewhere else or if we have to donate it. So I'm gonna go through these and move back into the closet. <laughs> it's taking a little longer than I want it to take, but at least it's finally getting done.
Okay, so this is what the closet is looking like now. I took mostly everything out, wiped it all down, and put the things back that we wanted to keep in here. <laughs> this is my kitchen rug that Cooper has an obsession with chewing, so I have it folded over there. His dog food is on the floor because it's in a big container. I'm hoping to find something to put it in and to have a lid, but for now the bag is just there. Reusable shopping bags. These are some of Cooper's extra toys. We'll give him when he's older. And these are nail clippers and these are the pet wipes. I kept this bin because I thought it would be helpful for just putting random things in, um, but things I use like mat, uh, packing tape, garden gloves. I have some packets for seeds, extension cords. So that's miscellaneous, but usable miscellaneous. We have Lysol wipes, compost bags, cleaning supplies, dishwasher tabs, and Ziploc bags. On this shelf, we have the boxes I showed you, my sewing kit, car cleaning stuff, a little speaker, vacuum accessories. And on the top is just paper towel and cleaning supplies. As far as things go to declutter, I didn't get to 50, but I will share with you the things I am parting with. Okay, and this is the stuff that I am letting go of, so I'm going to count the items to see how many. I won't leave your side for anything. What would be the okay, so that was 36 items. I found more things. I forgot I'm decluttering this shirt that Maddie doesn't like. We missed the return date, this recipe book, and this picture frame. So add three to it. So that is 39 things that I'm decluttering. The majority of them are Play-Doh things. Maddie doesn't play with that anymore. She kept her kinetic sand, but she's gonna part with the Play-Doh. And some of the other things, um, this J, which is really cute, um, she is gifting that to a friend for her birthday so it's leaving our house but it's not being donated but it's still decluttering it from our space so I'm counting that I'm really happy with that I hope you enjoyed watching and are getting lots of inspiration and motivation during the Mega May decluttering challenge and I hope that you're attempting to declutter some things from your space remember no matter how big or how small your declutters are it's still progress and progress doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're trying your best. And remember, you are a rock star and you are crushing it. So keep at it, keep decluttering. Remember to post your photos over on Instagram with the hashtag of Mega May 50 a day and take me, Amanda Jane at Mind Your Matters and Melinda Plain and Simple and we are going to be your biggest cheerleaders when it comes to decluttering. And also don't forget to check out the playlist for a Tuesday's Tiny Tidy. I'll have that link down below as well as Sunday Dawn's channel. So head on over, watch the playlist, get some inspiration, get some motivation, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks so much for being here. I love and appreciate you all. Stay safe, take care. See you tomorrow. Bye everyone. Point with you through him.